Hey guys, this is Jerry Bolda doing another episode of Claire Tech Tuesdays. Um, today I would like to go over and discuss the all new improved Claire Vision Plus app. Uh, what we're going to do is show on the mobile app how to uh, register and how to add a cloud device. So it's very, very simple. We just released a brand new version of the app. So I'm going to open up my viewer so you can see the, uh, the mobile device. So what you see here is uh, I've already downloaded the Clear Vision Plus app. So I'm going to tap to open it. And down at the bottom, you have several different choices. You have message, cloud device, legacy devices, and more. Uh, the messages, that's where your motion detection uh, would appear. You know, if, you're, if you have motion cameras with motion detection set up, um, those would show up there. Cloud device is if you're going to be adding a new uh, camera or device if it's part of the new Clear Vision Plus um, line of cameras. Leg de legacy devices are the older cameras. Uh, they still work with the app, um, but you have to add those the old way, and that does require port forwarding with those. And then there's the more section where I'm tapped now. Um, you need to log in. I've already created a login, but you can register, which is also very simple to do. You click register. You can either register by mobile phone or by an email address. If you do either one of those, just make sure you use a legitimate um, phone number or a legitimate email address because it's going to send you a confirmation for an activation. So uh, we just want to make sure that you are a human being. So without further ado here, I'm going to go back out, quit this section, log in to my account. So once I'm logged in, you see it went right over to the cloud device section. Uh, there's a plus sign that says click here to add your Clear Vision Plus devices. I have one of these small uh, little nanny cam, one megapixel nanny cam here. I'm going to add that in. So as soon as you t tap the plus button, it's going to come up with a choice as video doorbell, Wi-Fi camera, or wired device. Uh, this is a brand new screen where the old way it used to pop up and it would just have you add the camera and then you would choose whether it was a Wi-Fi um, or what kind of the device it was that you were trying to connect to. This is very intuitive now. Um, so this is going to be a Wi-Fi camera. It's actually the one that's pictured on the left-hand side there on your screen. So when I tap that, it should open up my camera here, and it's going to allow me to scan the, uh, the CR code on the back of the camera. So there it is. I just scanned it. Uh, so before I want to connect to a network, please make sure uh, that you're on the network you want to connect to. So in my case, I'm just going to go out and verify in my settings that I'm on the correct network because I know that there's a few networks here. Uh, I also want to make sure that I'm not on a 5 gigahertz network because these cameras with the, uh, the Wi-Fi chipset that's currently in them uh, do not support 5 gigahertz networks yet. Uh, that could come out in a later revision of the camera, but for now, um, we do not. So even the top of the screen there, you see the 5G Wi-Fi is not supported. So I am on my little network here. I'm just going to type in the password, which is not encrypted. That's no big deal. So there you go, I'm going to type that in, we tap next. So what this does on a typical network, you have DHCP, which just means it's a normal network and whatever uh, device you're trying to connect to your network, it's going to obtain an IP address automatically. Um, so you know if you're an IT guy or a networking engineer that have, has all DHCP reservations or um, you know static IP set up for everything, just make sure that, it's, uh, that you have it set up for DHCP. So this is already added. You can see that it just went through. It's already done. Awesome thing about this stuff is there's no more port forwarding. I don't have to worry about uh, network administration. I don't have to open up ports or anything like that to be able to use the camera. Uh, so you can add as many of these cloud devices as you want, and you still do not need to open ports. If I click the checkbox, this is going to pull it up. You can see it's already sensing motion detection. I've already got a push notification because I just moved uh, a chair that was in front of the camera. So if I want to open this up for the first time to view it, you tap the screen, double tap, and you can see there it is. It's already up, it's live, and it's ready to go. So of course, there's many different things you can do. Uh, there's two-way audio. You can take, take snapshots. You can record right to your phone. You can change the name, and there's a whole list of different things you can do um, You know, if you wanted to change the name to whatever the camera is. So that's how you add a cloud device with the Clear Vision Plus app. Uh, 
we just released a brand new one like I mentioned earlier, so you're going to want to go check that out. And um, I appreciate everybody watching the video, uh, and there's going to be a lot more coming up, so please uh, stay tuned. We'll be doing these again weekly, uh, so we're trying to you know do as many as we can to help out our dealer base. So until then, um, everybody have a great day and stay tuned.